Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MacTube. In this video, we will learn about inverse Laplace transform. And we will start with functions with logarithm, tan inverse and cot inverse. We will move in a different order so that it will be very easy for your exam. So, a few things to remember. The first thing is we need some properties from Laplace transform. So, do you remember this property? If Laplace of a function is f of s, then how do you find the Laplace of any function multiplied by t? Very simple. We keep on differentiating again and again and again and we will multiply by minus 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 depending on the power of the polynomial. And you need a few more things because we are going to differentiate. What is the derivative of log s 1 by s and what is the derivative of tan inverse s 1 by s square plus 1 and what is the derivative of 1 by s minus 1 by s square i am keeping it in s because laplace inverse will take functions in s to t because do you remember in laplace transform we used to have functions in t and it will be transformed into the s domain and here we are learning how to invert it because when you learn your application when you learn your applied subject you will use uh, transform uh, like what you call first of all you will model things with functions and you may have to change the domain you may need to change the function and the domain so you may take laplace transform or any other transform so soon you'll get a function in a new domain and in that new domain you'll do all the processing that you want and once your job is done you will need the original function and at that point what we do is we take the inverse and if you take the function inverse we get the real life problem so once more this laplace inverse is going to take functions in s domain back to the t domain that's why i want you to learn the derivative formula in terms of s you can use x and change it into s at any time you need and of course who can forget this property log of a by b what is log of a by b log a minus log b and let me tell the usual warning in your books they are using logarithm with the assumption the basis e but if you look at any international book they will use ln natural logarithm so we are following the your past papers and your books that are available in the market so let's go for logarithm okay now the second thing you have to be very 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 good with the formula i hope you're all good with the formula in laplace transform so look at this i have kept all the formula in laplace transform and I want you to read the formula in Laplace transform so that you'll be very good in the formula in Laplace inverse. And I want you to do it together as a comparison chart so that you're, in exam you'll have no confusion. And one more thing, in sine 80, I hope you remember this A was a constant, a number. So, in the inverted version, we don't learn like a by s square plus a square. We don't learn directly like this. This constant will be written on the other side. So, when we invert the function, I mean, when we invert the transform, that a goes to the other side. And other than that, even in hyperbolic, the same thing is going to happen. So, I want you to pause the video for a moment and copy all the formulae neatly in a paper or in a notebook okay and we need one more very very important thing that is the inverted version of the shifting theorem the inverted version of a shifting theorem is very powerful maybe in this video or maybe in the coming videos because in lesson number two we will learn how to find the laplace inverse by using partial fraction that's a very powerful method in laplace inverse and in that video we'll be using this a lot okay so this is the first shifting theorem 
and all you have to do is take Laplace inverse on both sides and you'll get the inverted version because this Laplace inverse of Laplace will give you the function so that will be f of t and this is uh, what you call Laplace inverse of f of s so it tells you if you know the Laplace inverse of a function then the Laplace inverse of f of s minus a is equal to e power 80 into f of t so if you want you can note down the proof it's very simple all you have to do is write first shifting theorem and take inverse on both sides and read from right to left that's a proof okay now let's go for the first type okay in this lesson i want to make things very simple for you at the same time uh, i want it to be useful for your exam and if you look at the past paper questions a few times you'll see that they're asking laplace inverse of functions which contain logarithm tan inverse and cot inverse you can check the past paper today itself and to work out all these questions there's a special method there's a special trick and that is what we are going to learn in this video okay let's try one question please write find the laplace inverse of log s plus 1 by s minus 1 by the way i want all of you to watch the video and work out the problems along with me and once the video is over or once you are confident I want you to take the past paper or any book that you like and practice similar questions. And if you do that, you will definitely get marks. Once more, I will repeat, watching these videos will make you understand. It will give you a rough idea how to work out with such problems. But if you want marks, you have to work out past papers and many, many problems similar to this. Okay, so the method goes like this. So did you notice when you take Laplace, you transform a function in T to S. So Laplace inverse will transform a function in S. Can you see the question is in S and it will be transformed into T. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it let the answer be F of T. So I'm pretending as if I know the answer. So let the answer of this question be f of t. And why did I take f of t? Because I know that my answer will be in terms of t. Now, the second thing to do is you take Laplace on both sides. By the way, I'm not writing too much, but in exam, you write each and every step. So what will I get next? So I'm, get, I'm going to get something like this. So this Laplace and Laplace inverse will leave this function. And the right side will be something like this. So the next line will be that is Laplace of f of t is equal to log s plus 1 by s minus 1. So once more I'll repeat. I'll show you the steps once more. So we have to find the Laplace inverse of a function involving logarithm. So the first thing that I did is I'm going to give it a name f of t. Then I took Laplace on both sides so that we will get the function in the left side and we get something like this and by the way I'm writing from right to left that is Laplace of f of t is equal to s plus 1 by s minus 1 in the beginning of the video I told you you had to remember a few things if Laplace of f of t is f of s then how do you find the Laplace of t multiplied by f of t? Very simple. Take the derivative and put negative. So that is exactly what I am going to do. Okay. This step tells you we know the Laplace of f of t. So what will be the Laplace of t multiplied by f of t? Take the derivative and put one negative outside or multiply by negative. So that will be negative d by ds of what is log a by b log a minus log b 
and I'm sure that differentiation is very simple for you so this will give you what is the derivative log something by the way I should write ln 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s minus 1 so remember I'm writing Laplace of t into f of t Laplace of t into f of t okay now you can take this negative inside that is Laplace of t into f of t is equal to what happens when you multiply a minus b with negative it becomes b minus a okay now what I am going to do is I am going to take Laplace inverse on both sides okay now I am sure that you most of you are confused I'll tell you why this method works and how this method works this method works because we have logarithm in the function and I know very well that the derivative of logarithm is 1 by x or 1 by s or 1 by something and once I get to this point I know that I can take Laplace inverse and find f of t do you remember in the beginning I told you let the answer be f of t that means we have to find f of t so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert on both sides I'm, I'm going to put Laplace inverse on both sides and as before this Laplace inverse and Laplace will leave t into f of t what is Laplace inverse of 1 by s minus 1 I think all of you wrote the formula so that will be e to the power t minus e to the power minus t so what is f of t e to the power t minus e to the power minus t divided by t that's it as simple as that okay now let's go for one more question so please write find the Laplace inverse of tan inverse 2 divided by s because I told you logarithm tan inverse cot inverse because the trick is very simple uh, when we differentiate we will get a function which has Laplace inverse come on tell me what's the method the first thing to do is give it a name and remember this is exactly what we are going to find we are going to find the value of the function f of t second thing to do take Laplace on both sides so that I will end up with Laplace of f of t by the way I am writing from right to left is equal to tan inverse 2 by s oh now this step tells me I know the Laplace of f of t this step tells me that I know the Laplace of f of t so according to the property that we learned long back what will be the Laplace of t multiplied by f of t take the derivative and then what should we do we have to multiply by minus 1 and this is the main step the critical step because when you take the derivative you will get a function whose Laplace inverse exists I hope you all of you had made a list of that formula and I'll strongly suggest you make a comparison chart don't write the formula only for Laplace inverse but write the comparison chart so this goes like minus 1 multiplied by what is the derivative of tan inverse something 1 by 1 plus same thing squared so that will be 4 by s square multiplied by we have to differentiate this look at this 2 by s is actually 2 into 1 by s and you know the derivative of 1 by s so the derivative goes like minus 2 by s square okay so Laplace of t into f of t is equal to simplify this because this s square s square will get cancelled and you will end up with 2 into 1 by s square plus 4 I hope you remember the formula of Laplace inverse I'll show you once more I'm going to use this formula can you see 1 by s square plus a square will be 1 by a sine a t 
okay now what will i do this is the last step remember i am trying to find f of t in the beginning itself i did that i called my answer as f of t so taking laplace inverse on both sides in exam write the steps properly i am skipping so many steps t into f of t is equal to this 2 goes outside just like laplace and what's the formula this 4 means 2 square so 1 by 2 sin 2t cut cut we want f of t right not t into f of t so our answer will be sin 2t divided by t okay let's do one last problem and stop so please write i'll do it half and the remaining it will be nice if you put the answers in the comment section okay so please write the last question find the laplace inverse of log 1 plus 1 by s square come on tell me what is the first thing to do yes call it a name give it a name f of t then what should we do next of course take laplace on both sides and then the third thing right from right to left that is laplace of f of t is equal to log 1 plus 1 by s square wait a minute i'll simplify this i'll take lcm mm, s square plus 1 by s square okay now come on tell me the next step because i don't want to ruin the fun that you'll have when you do this problem so i'll stop with this what will you do next yes laplace of look at this this step tells me we know the laplace of f of t so what will be the laplace of t multiplied by f of t we have to differentiate we have to find d by ds log s square plus 1 by s square and put a negative now apply properties of logarithm etc 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 and don't forget we have to find f of t okay so work out problems similar to this and i'll be back with another video very soon so till then my friends bye